Hi, welcome to Lab Games. I'm your host, Anthony. And I'm Francis. And today, we're playing Three, Three Ring Circus. circus. Do, do, do. <laughs> so we are playing um, a game about a circus. Yes. Where we are circus directors yeah. uh, traveling around the country, performing in towns and cities mm -hmm. um, in order to gain you know, fame points yes. uh, and be, be the best circus. Yeah, even though the best circus is also traveling around. Which the, is best, the, well, circus. the best circus, uh, <laughs> Barnum and Bailey. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so he'll be he'll be going around as well, competing with us mm -hmm. and, and kind of forcing us to uh, to stay one step ahead of him. Yeah, we're gonna do our best. We'll do our our level best. Yes. So here you go. This is three ring circus set up for two players. Uh, there's a couple of different things you need to know for two players mm -hmm. uh, because there's uh, there's a tightening of the board, if yes. you will. So you've got these sort of um, map pieces that are, like that are closing uh, portions of two different regions mm -hmm. within the map. So the, normally there's five, I believe, and we're only playing with three. So it's yep. simply the number of players plus one mm -hmm. uh, region. So we're only going to be playing uh, with the cities of Indianapolis, Washington, and New York. Those are our three major, large, big cities, if you yes. will. Main cities, they call them. Um, there are two medium cities in each region. Mm -hmm. Cleveland, Cincinnati, Pittsburgh, Baltimore, and Buffalo, Philadelphia, as well as tiny little towns all along the way. Oh, yeah. Um, so what we're going to be doing is, um, essentially, like I said, we're going to be traveling around the regions yep. uh, and performing. It's mm -hmm. 19th century, old school carnivals. Yeah. Uh, there's clowns, there's animal riders. <laughs> all kinds of good stuff. Uh, all of those uh, magicians. Trapeze artists. Yes, and the, and the flying trapeze. And the flying trapeze, my favorite. Yes. <laughs> so uh, for the setup, like I said, We've got these map boards on. We've got this red player color out there. So mm -hmm. you notice they have these uh, these tent tokens out already. So they're going to be placing them in the far right uh, portion of each city, mm -hmm. uh, as well as specific towns. And the book tells you what towns to put them yes. on along the way. Uh, he doesn't have a presence in any of the um, medium-sized medium cities at this point. But he's also going to start in New York. So what what Barnum does, uh, every time we one of us performs, he's going to... Just move along cl uh, clockwise, along the outer cir uh, circuit of the map, hitting every city, the main cities. And when he does, he's going to trigger a scoring. Mm -hmm. And when he gets to the end, we um, we score one more time, and then that's the end of the game. Yes. Uh, we'll be... You know, why don't you talk about how what we're doing? Like, yeah, exactly. So this is... Um, on your turn, you can only do two things, mm -hmm. right? You do one or two things. Either uh, you're going to uh, place an artist. So we have these tableaus in front of us that are going to represent, if you want to kind of show a picture of that, yeah. represent the, the three rings of our circus. So each of these rows here is going to be a different ring of our circus where we're going to be placing artist cards into them um, in numerical order, and you'll see how that works as we play. And that will, that will essentially represent what's happening at our circus. Mm -hmm. So you can do that. You can play a card into your, into your tableau, um, or you can perform. So we have three different types of cards that we can play, cards that are going to give us money. Um, we're going to pay for special artists um, up here that are going to be like our, our main acts, mm. I guess, if you will. Um, so we'll be paying for those. And then we also have these endgame scoring cards that we'll be able to uh, draft and also um, place uh, throughout the game. We then can also perform. We have three different kinds of performances we can do. Mm -hmm. So like Anthony said, we've got, uh, we have these little tiny, teeny tiny towns yeah, <laughs> around teeny, the board. Tiny. And really the the purpose for uh, performing in these these towns is going to be to get more money. Mm -hmm. And in this game, money is represented by this stack of money cards, which could also be other types of artists that we can put into our tableau. But primarily we're going to be using those to pay for... Uh, our special acts, the big acts, the ones that people really want to see. Mm -hmm. So uh, the more expensive things. So we can, we're going to do that at, at our small towns. At our medium towns, that's going to be these ones. And you can tell because they have these two different acts here. Um, we'll, we will be uh, essentially getting these either, depending on where we, where we land, we'll either get uh, tickets or we get victory points. These ticket cards are going to represent those special acts. And those are really important because when we go to the big cities, you'll see down here, we need to have a specific act in our in one of our rings in order to actually perform in the major cities because those major cities know what they want. Mm -hmm. They want to see those like trapeze artists. They want to see like a lion, something like that. Yep. So um, 
We are limited. Uh, only one circus can perform in each small town. So once one of us claims one of those towns, another player cannot claim that town. We will be performing in the medium cities uh, to the extent that we're able to based on our pedestal track on our player board. Mm -hmm. So as we place cards out, you're going to see these little pedestal icons all over the cards that we're playing. And this is really, it's like a reputation track, if you will. Yeah. So, you know, kind of it goes up like this, like any reputation track does. We start with one uh, because we do have that icon depicted on our board. Anytime you see this little eyeball icon, that's essentially something that we have sort of a production type of mechanism yep. um and then if we have the the right number of uh pedestals when we get to these medium cities and perform we can cover up up to that level so oh, you want to have good. as much reputation as you can before you start presenting in those um in those medium cities but um but you're gonna see us do it right away because it's important to, to start doing that um i think that's it so yeah we're not limited here to either of us you know once we're limited by spot, but um, we can go once each to each city. Yep. We'll be doing that. Uh, but essentially, yeah, that's what you're doing in your turn. That is. Yep. So one of two things. Engaging yeah. engaging an artist, mm -hmm. which is basically playing a card into your yep. tableau, or performing. So yep. when you perform, you have to move. You have to move your caravan. Yep. Um, you can move it up to as many spaces as you have trains, trains um, visible on your player board. And you start the game with one, two, three, four, five, six. You'll be covering these up. Mm -hmm. With your cards as you play, yeah. so that'll get that'll start to shrink down towards the end of the game. You'll always at least have one. Yeah, but the good thing is that as the game progresses, we're going to be putting out our little tents, and as you're moving around the board, you're skipping over those tents. You are. So it'll it it works out. You're, yeah, you're not really constrained yeah. in, in any way. So um, with that said, we start the game with one end game goal card, mm -hmm. one ticket card, and four money cards, and these yeah. money cards as you can see, represent different types of either artists or like circuit like supporting acts. Uh, yeah, circus <laughs> yeah. help. So like, uh, like these guys all have um, these lightning bolt abilities, which they can't be played in your tableau. They have a different purpose. They're used uh, when doing performances. You're allowed to play one of them and we'll show you how that works. Um, this is a card that is, uh, you know, it's an animal. It's an act or mm -hmm. performer. Um, and it will go in your tableau and give you certain pedestal bonuses. And you'll see how those work as well. You'll notice the color of this icon here. These are the special performers. Uh, they're specific in type. So this is like the cannon shooter, yeah. the flying cannon guy. Um, and in, in some cases, certain cities want to see them. But yeah. you'll see their symbols matter depending on their placement within your tableau or where they are in a major city or a main city when you do a performance there. Right. So that's it. That's what you start with. And uh, as Francis said, the, the the best way to go around and get more money is to perform in small towns, mm -hmm. uh, to get more uh, of these special, ticket cards, yeah. special performers. You want to go into the medium cities. Um, and then to score points, you want to go to the big city. Yeah. we got to do all this before Barnum gets back around to New York. So he's going to travel. Right. And that's it. Yeah. I think the only thing we, we didn't mention is that the scorings that are going to happen when uh, when he does reach a city... Um, are going to be sort of an area control thing happening on the board. So we want to try and present, or I see presenting, presenting our show, performing. Performing, that's the word. yes. We're going to be performing in um, in the different areas, but we, we want to try to have the most mm -hmm. uh, performances there and be the most reputable um, so that we get big points when it's time to score. That's right. So why don't you go ahead? Cool. Yeah, and so on our, on our first turn, um, everyone's going to place an artist, so you don't have a choice. This is just something you have to do. But you can pick. So I will place, for example, I will pay two. So I'm going to pay two with this goose card because it has a two on it. Right. Um, I'll pay that to place a puppy. So he's going to go right there. Now, as we're placing these cards, you'll see they do have to go in numerical order, but you're not placing them in numerical order. But you are always going to place them from left to right. Um, unless you place a lower card, in which case this would move over. So a um, couple of other rules with regards to the cards, but we'll get to those as we go. Other thing I have to do is place my caravan out. Mm -hmm. So I will place, and we're going to start in, we start in a major city. Yeah. Um, and I will start like two, three, four, I'm thinking about where I want to go. I'll start here in Indy. Okay. Uh, another thing to note is that when you placed that card. Yeah. That card is worth one pedestal point yes. plus one for every purple card or mm -hmm. acrobat to the right of it. Right. 
because of that arrow. So you do gain that <coughs> pedestal as soon as you yep. place that card. That's how you go up in your pedestals. Yep. And I'll just want to keep track of that, this purple one, as I'm placing things later yep. so that I know. So her caravan's out. She starts at Indy. I don't have another. You have to go into Main City where there's no other player. So I have to go in Washington. Mm -hmm. um, and I also do have to place a, uh, a card as well. I'm going to place a llama. A llama. <laughs> So the llama's going to go out. It's going to cost me two. I will pay $5. So I'm going to overpay, but you don't get change. So he's going to go in the discard, and I'm going to go up one pedestal because I do not have any animal, these orange animal cards to the right. Okay. But that's the first turn that's of it. the game uh -huh. because that's the only time you do that. Now you're free to do whatever you want. You can go yep. perform. You could you could play another card into your tableau if you can afford it. So yep. you have the money for it. Uh, I think I'm going to go perform. Okay. Right away. So I'm going to come down here, and again, I have a one, two, three, four, five, six, but I'm going to go one, two, three, four to Steubenville, and I'm going to perform in Steubenville. All right. Um, now, when we perform in these tiny towns, what we have in our tableau doesn't really matter. It doesn't uh, at, it's, all, at all. At <laughs> all. Um, we're just going to get uh, these um, money cards. Uh, equivalent to we get one for the town we're in and then we get one for each adjacent town that does not have a performance already yep. have Sorry. been performed I guess so, so yeah it's one for the town you're in and one, one for every adjacent two, town where there's no other tents. three so I'm gonna get three now if you have a card with a lightning bolt you could play one card during this performance and I to boost. do I do but it's not gonna be helpful for me okay um, so I'm not gonna play it so I will get one and you get three cards two Three. And so, I place my little thing. Looks like a candy. Yeah, I guess it her, is a big her top. Her tent is right? there. Her big top is there. Now she. And now I do. Uh, no, never mind. Sorry. You don't I'm do saying. anything else. No, I don't do anything else. <laughs> well, I, the thing is, like when we when we do other performances, we always forget to take our money card. Right, but this but one you actually one take, you your, money take your money card. Your money card so um, what yeah. this one's basically saying is actually no. You got one, two, uh -huh. three, right? Yeah. You also get one for your your player yeah, board for my has player one board, of right? You took the fourth. Okay. What? You, did you take that? I well? didn't. No, okay. I only took three. That's what I said. I thought so I got one extra. what you look at here is, this is telling you, every visible dollar uh -huh. on your player board, your tableau, you draw a card. And then for then you would play out yeah. how each of these scores. Mm -hmm. So yeah. um, That was a performance, so he's going to move. Yeah, so you performed. He's going to go one space. So he just went to Trenton mm. from New York. So he's heading south. Good old Trenton. Trenton. <laughs> Trenton makes, the world takes. <laughs> All right, so those of you in the area will, will understand that reference. Um, so if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, that's not really going to get me. You want to get to a place where there's one on each side of you, but there's not many of those places. So if I actually head this way, one, two, three, and I perform in Youngstown, I'm only adjacent to, to one small town. Mm that doesn't have uh, a big top for my performance. So I'm gonna place my tent here, I'm gonna perform here. So I'm gonna get one for my player board, mm -hmm. two for Youngstown, and three for Erie, because there are people that are coming to Youngstown. So I'm gonna get three cards. Now I'm gonna play a Lightning Bolt card mm -hmm. as well, which is this guy. And I don't know what his name is. He's he's definitely um, a performer. He's like the conductor. He is called the Ringmaster. Yeah. And what he does is he gets me to draw two additional dollar cards. Mm. So it's two, three, four, five. So I'm going to draw five cards. You have a hand limit of eight. Two, three, four, five. Now I have eight cards. That's my hand limit. But Pretty that's good. my turn. He's going to move again. Now he's down in Philly. So it's your turn. Hmm. I'm going to play another artist. Now we do have a hand limit. Eight. Four, yeah. five, six, seven. Did you just say that? I just did. Okay. I was like, I wonder why I was thinking that. Okay. Sounds like there's, I think there's an echo. <laughs> There's an echo in here. Is there an echo in here? Oh, man. <laughs> so bad. Yeah. Um, all right, so I'm going to play this guy. I think I'll do this. So, all right, so I'm going to play this guy. This chair balancing guy, right? Yeah. So he's 15. He would cost $15. $15, yeah. But, because I'm placing him in the same row, you're only going to pay the difference 
between what the card costs and your highest card already in that row. Of a lower value. Of a lower value, exactly. So like if I were to play something lower than this two, I wouldn't pay anything, it'd be free. Correct. So, but for this case, this is actually gonna be 13 that yep. I have to pay. So here's two fives and a three. That goes there. All right. And this guy goes right here. Yep. Um, and that is going to get me another card because yeah, so I'm covering, covering up that up symbol. The draw a dollar card. That lets me draw card. a dollar. Um, and because he's a purple card, I'm going to get one more pedestal for that as well. That is true. All true. That's it. When you, when you play a card, it's really fast. Yep. You just, you basically just Easy. do it. All right. Okay. I am going to then, I'm also going to try to play somebody out. So... Uh, oof. Where am I? Okay. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go with this one. So I'm going to play, i uh, put it on yours. I'm going to play this fortune teller uh, here. So she's one more, so I only have to pay a dollar to play her out. So I'll play. I'll pay this clown who's worth a dollar. This clown. Yeah, this clown. <laughs> so she's gonna go in here. I'm gonna get to draw a dollar card, uh, and she's gonna bolt me up one more prestige. So I'll draw a dollar card, and then it's your turn. Mm. One, two. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of want to move and perform. I need some more cards. These are good, but I don't necessarily have anything I want to play. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Um, so I will go... One, two, three, four. I'll stop in Laurel. So I'll perform here. So it's only going to gain you. That's that's actually yours. Yeah. So I'll so. I'll take credit for that yeah. one. It's only going to gain you one plus one plus one. So I'm going to get two. Yep. That's okay because I'm kind of close to my hand limit anyway. All right. Um. And that's it. He's going to move to Washington. Right? Did I miss anything? No. Wow, you moved him in already. What do you mean I moved him in? I had to. No, he's in Wilmington, not Washington. Oh, Wilmington. Sorry. Yeah, it's a yeah. big difference. Yeah, big difference. Yeah. <laughs> Wilmington, like, Delaware, not, like, not Washington. No, he didn't score yet. <laughs> Although Wilmington does feel like Washington sometimes. Uh, it can. <laughs> From time to time. You're right. Um, man, this is this is rough. Okay. I just, because I don't really like my cards, that's why I'm, I'm having issues here. I know, me too. Oh, boy. Okay, so I'm going to head up to Erie and perform here as well. Okay. And we're, you see we're pumping performances here because we have, he's about to score, mm -hmm. trigger a scoring in Washington. Yeah. And that's going to, it's about... We have to compete with him because he's got two tens here. And if you don't have more than him, you're not going to get majority. You're not going to score. Yep. Right? So I'm going to get... So I'm going to play that. I'm going to get one, two. I'm going to play a card as well. So I'm going to play this card, which is uh, is going to gain me a draw of one of these cards, the special performance cards. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to draw two. I'll draw one of these, and I'll draw one, my specialist card, because I don't have enough hands to do it all. Uh, and he's going to go to Baltimore now. All right. Mm. got to get rid of some of these cards. It's getting close. Yeah. Yeah, I do too. Um, let's see. Okay. Okay. I can do this. All right. I'm going to play this one. So, I'm going to play a four. It's like a hat one. Yeah. 
Um, but he is going to push this guy over, so I'm losing one of my momentum here, right. which is fine. But it's free to play. But it's free to play. I get a pedestal, plus I get a pedestal for each purple, Just so one. I'm going to get another pedestal. All right, very good. I'm also playing into my tableau, so I'm going to play this elephant, and it's a difference of seven, so I have to pay seven. So we'll go five and... Six. I'll do this five and this three. So it's eight. I'll pay eight. So I've got my elephants coming in here. And it is an orange. So I'm going to actually gain two more pedestals because they each went up in value now. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's not good. Nope. And now he moves to Washington. Did, you didn't? No, he doesn't. You didn't perform. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't. You're Get out right. of here. I'm about to. <laughs> Get out of here. Just kidding. With that. Just kidding. Um, I want to... I'm going to put... I'm going to play another card. I'm going to play this down here. Hmm. This guy, a slime guy. I don't know. What, I don't know what his thing is. The magician. A magician? Yeah. Oh, he's making like magic. People come out of the slime. He's almost like a necromancer. Thing. Looking. I guy. guess. Yeah, he looks like a necromancer. So he's gonna give me one. So you have him in the book. He's not. In the book. Um. That's it. And that's it. Cause I don't have any greens. Yep. So I've got what five prestige going on here. Is it enough to? Uh, to go for it. Where? Pittsburgh? I could do Pittsburgh. That'd be five, six, seven. Seven prestige. Yeah, that's worth it. Right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to travel down to Pittsburgh. So I'll let you guys get a close up view. So I just traveled down to Pittsburgh. It doesn't even cost me a move because you skip over anything that's got a tent. So Pittsburgh is this track, and we haven't done a medium city yet. So Pittsburgh's looking for magicians. They want they want they're going to give you two bonus temporary pedestals for magicians if you have a magician in your show. I happen to have my fortune teller. She is a magician, mm -hmm. so I'm going to gain that. I've got a base of five pedestals plus two now. It's seven, so I can go up and place a tent on the seven, mm -hmm. the highest one I can get. That's free. I can either take five victory points now or draw three of these um, prestige yeah. cards. A special, special. Uh, yeah, there they people. are. I haven't yeah. given. Look at this view. I didn't even show them this one. Ah, that's a great view. <laughs> this is the shot. So now I can choose any of these mm -hmm. plus draw blind. I get to do it three times. So I will take this seven. I will take two from the deck. One okay. and two. You don't refill this until after your turn. Now I fill it. So you can't just like start sniping. Yeah. All right, so I did my performance. I do get a dollar card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But I have eight cards. I can't take anymore. Okay. Um, I could, but I could play a lightning bolt card as well because I'm performing. Yeah. And this gives me a bonus two victory points. Okay. So now you can take your. So now I can take my money card. Money Because you get that at the start of every performance. All right. Um, and that's it. Okay. Now. He moves. He moves. But nothing happens yet. This flips. Flips. So. This lets us know that at the end of the turn of the player who holds this, because yes. it's going to pass back and forth, um, we're going to do a scoring. So Correct. that gives me, in this case, gives me an opportunity to perform right. as well. If I had that card, he would have scored right now. <laughs> yeah. If you're the player holding yep. it. Yep. So I'm going to go one, two, three. And I'm also going to perform in Pittsburgh. Whoa. Because Pittsburgh. I heard there's a show and I need to come Pittsburgh's build my tent like, right next to your show. They're like so exhausted <laughs> from performance. I know. <laughs> they are. They're like, another circus? They're like, really? So, um, and I also have a magician in my show. So I get two. And these are temporary though, right? So that puts me at eight. Who did it? This guy. These are temporary. Yes, they're temporary. So it doesn't actually move me up. So I go it to eight. Not. But I also have a lightning bolt card. Oh, those are good. And it gives me plus one for every purple, which puts me oh. at nine. Nine. 
So I'm gonna do a nine caliber show. Well, that's great. That's the best show you could. Pittsburgh. The best show on earth. It's the best show. It's, it's the greatest, the greatest show. show, actually. <laughs> um, yes, that goes away. This card. That. And that's temporary too. That is. Those are one shot done. Because I have a band. I like brought in the. I was like, guys, yeah. we need to uh, make this the best. Let's see, let's see what they're officially called. Is yeah. it the band? Go ahead. You go ahead. Okay. Out. They're called the orchestra. Okay. Well, I What's don't see about? any strings, but that's okay. Um, so. So you take a, you get a money card. I do get a money card for and now performing. You're gonna get so you took your One, two, your nine. Three, so you get four. I am definitely taking some. So of you these get special three cards people. from the three cards from the special tickets. Special tickets. Um, I'm just looking at what we need, and I'm not seeing what we need out there. Do you know what I mean? Oh yeah, so she's like, looking at the main nowhere. cities to see what yeah. what performer they're looking for. Yeah, because the way that these cities work is like they're looking for the performer in the middle. So like yeah. they're looking for whatever the orange ten is right. and the green eight, and then you get extra points if you have these other su like kind of supporting acts yeah. on either side. But you'd need like a higher or a lower so depending on the city. So it's like a lot to think about. Um, and I don't know. I don't know what's going to be helpful. Like, I don't really want to draw blind, but I feel like I'm going to be drawing blind mm. here. So I'm going to go one. Oh, great. Two. Oh. This stinks. Um. I wish I could put that back. I just thought of something else. I guess I'll just take another. Ooh, wow. Okay, interesting. And I got all orange cards. Did you? I drew, yeah. It's like, who shuffled this thing? Oh, well, that's good. Orange cards. One, two, three, four, five, animals. six, seven, eight. Okay. That's all the cards for you. Yeah. So you're good? I'm good. All right, so... We're doing a, a region scoring mm -hmm. for Washington, D.C. Uh, so what we're going to look at is who has the majority of tents in the region. And that would be me. Mm -hmm. I've got three. three tents, yeah. So I get ten points. Um, you have second. Yeah. But I got the main, I got the main at medium. That only counts for breaking ties. Yeah. So he's got one. Mm -hmm. And you've got one. Yeah. He may win because he's got he's one in the main city. He's technically got one in the main city. Yeah. That stinker. So he gets six, you get three. But he doesn't get anything. He doesn't so get he anything. Doesn't yeah, he's just three. there to... Three, to, and you get ten? Yeah, he's just there to annoy us. Y'all. Um, but we pretty Stinking much crushed this circus. region. Yeah, well, that's how it goes. Yeah. All right, and this passes to you? That, yeah, so now that flips, passes to me. And it is your turn. It is my turn. I think what I'll do is I'm going to start by getting rid of some cards here. So let's take a look at my board. Okay. All right. I'm going to put my, I guess this is my contortionist mm -hmm. dude. I'd say so. So I'm going to squeeze him in here between. I see what you did there. <laughs> there you go. So now he's he's free because he's less than my house card. Uh, and that's it. Um, point of clarity from before. Uh, hand limit is actually 10, not 8. <clears throat> As always, we make things a lot harder for us. We do. And you only have to discard down at the end of your turn. So you can draw up higher than your mm -hmm. 10 and then just get rid of some of your other cards. Yes. Okay, so it is your turn. What are you going to do? It's mm. a great question. Um, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... I am going to come down here. I'm going to go one to Columbus. Uh -huh. um, yeah, it's like we got to stay ahead of him. Yeah, I know. That's the hard part yeah, here. Yeah, he's such a jerk. He really is. I'm going to perform in Columbus. So oh, I'm going to take man. one, two. That's all I'm going to get. Yeah. Two money cards. 
And you, actually, you know the lightning bolt card to play with that? Um, actually, I might. Hold on. Always good to play with. I... If you can. Um. Yeah, I will. I'll play this one, which gets me a card, a card from up yeah. here. And I will take. Oh, let me see. What do we need here? Uh, yeah, maybe I'll do this. I'll take this one here. Seven. The seven. Oh, perfect. Really? <laughs> no. Uh, okay. Actually, not at all. Your turn. Kind of not at all what I wanted. Um. Okay. I will. I'm gonna need to get. I need some more money cards. What I need. So I'm going to head on down one, two, three, four, over to Fort Wayne to mm. perform. That's going to be one, two, three. Three money cards. Okay. One, two, three. Now, actually, I need to move him once for you. And then oh, yeah. once. He skips our tents, by the way. I so know. It's going to get He's ugly. on its way. Um, I'm going to have to discard some cards here, so I will discard this one. We got one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I'm good. I don't even need to discard you. All I need, all I want. Uh, all right, go ahead. I am going to just play this goose right here. Oh, more pedestals, huh? Yeah, more pedestals. Here, John. Six. Oh, and he actually covered this up. Seven, I get to take one of these end game popcorn cards. Mm, not what I needed. <laughs> okay, uh, you're good? Yep. All right, I'm going to head over to Cincinnati. Yeah. And perform again. What? Are you crazy? Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to gain a money card. But they want animals, right? Mm -hmm. Which I have. I have my llama. You do. The, my, no drama llama. Yes. So that's five, six, seven prestige because of my two temporary bonus. And mm -hmm. I'm going to play a lightning bolt card, which is this like horse tamer. And she gives me one pedestal per animal card, which is one. So it brings me to eight. Okay. So Cincinnati goes to eight. And I'm going to take three of these specialist cards. So I'll take one, two, and three. And I've got this. Man. All right. So I got to count some cards. Count cards. One, count cards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I got to get rid of three cards. One. Oh, yeah. Two, three. These two are garbage, actually. They're dollar cards. I'm going to go here. I bring out an oh. elephant. Hey, buddy. The gray elephant. Out. It's out and about. Out and about. Alright, I am going to and he moves here. He does. Man, oh man, he's so close to coming to Indy. He is close. He's like Gen Con, he's like, I'm there. He's like, I'm coming. <laughs> I got the circuit. I'm in. Alright. I am going to play him here. So seven, six, five, four I have to pay. So pay like that guy I really need to keep and that guy I need to keep and these guys I need to keep so I guess I'm paying these two. I'm overpaying. You're bringing in the acrobat? I'm bringing in the acrobat okay. here um, which lets me take a ticket card. Oh good. I'll take this one. Oh, did you, uh, when what? you covered that one up, I did, did. You, I took You drew this. one? Okay, yeah. so you, you drew a gold card. Yep. Okay. Um, cool. And that gives me two more prestige, or two more, two more pedestals. Two uh, more pedestals, it sure does. 
you know, it's always a good way you can, you can always recount, right? You could say, all right, you get one for that, one, two, three, four, five, right. six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Right? That's easiest way to count. Yeah. And that's where you should be. Right. Well, you like almost maxed on the pedestals. I know. Seems a little weird, doesn't it? No, because I mean, that's what you're playing. You're playing a lot of those low dollar cards. Right? You're not playing symbols. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And they're not worth end game victory points. Right. Yeah. So sure. they're going to help you during the game, but mm -hmm. it's really the trade off, right? All right. All right. Go I'm going to I'm going to engage a performer. Um, I'm going to bring out this oh, cat. Yeah. That guy. So he's coming out. I'm going to gain seven victory points right now. I'll bring myself up to 19. He's coming out. He's only going to a difference of two. I'm going to pay with her because she's worth four. So I'll discard her. And that is it. Now I go one more. No, I don't get any. <coughs> Bless you. Excuse me. Uh. <coughs> oh, wow. Bless you again. Circuses give me out. Yeah, she must be. So we don't move uh, bottom <coughs> because this was not. We didn't perform. Not a performance. Now you're wondering, well, how do you play your end game point cards? <laughs> I know. If you fill know. this row, you could place <coughs> your first, complete that row, a column rather. You place your second, place your third, and just start getting victory points. So it's all about your tableau. But you don't know. It depends on how you want to spread wide or you want to go deep. Yeah. Let's see. I'm like keeping track here of like how many more cards can I play before I have to do a performance? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Performing arts. Um Tough. <laughs> Tough calls. It is tough. Mm -hmm. I know you're heading over to Indy to perform. You think? Yeah, because you have all the stuff lined up. I don't know how you did that, my but ring you is, did it. Is, it was tailored for Indianapolis. It really was. This is like my, my Gen Con crew. Like, they're all ready. I know. Um, so, I'm right now, I'm thinking, do I want to go to Indy and perform? Or do I want to go to here and perform? Uh you know what I mean? Yeah, it's a good call. Because I could, well, I probably, because you're probably going to perform your next turn. And I would need to get that guy down. You know what I mean? Yeah. To do a performance. Um. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll just perform in Cleveland for now. Because you can always come back and do these, too. You know yeah, you mean? don't have to do them now. Like you could um, do. But you'll end up with the, the most... Guys. The majority. Well, it'll be a tie, and you'll get the tiebreaker. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, either way. Oh, true, true. But you're ahead of him, so you'll get second. Six points versus ten. Yeah, I Versus know. three. Like, it's a big Exactly, yeah. So, I will, um, I think I'll just move to, I have that stuff. I have both of these, actually. I'm going to move to Cincinnati. And perform. I think all three circuses are in Cincinnati. Right they now. are. I know. It's like, it's, like, it's, like, it's like a pile of. It. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like they're, they're like these. All the circuses. Like, like, like we don't need all this. this we're is a like, little over the circuses. This, at they're connies, circus folk, small hands. <laughs> <laughs> See if anybody knows that movie reference. Oh my gosh, you know too many. Movies. I know a lot of movie lines. Um, okay. All right. All right. All right. So we'll do this one. So I have, I have a dog, so I'm going to get bonus two. So I'm going to max out at 10. Yeah, so you can go this. top of the top so of the So I'm going chamber. top of the line. In Cincinnati? In Cincinnati. Ooh, do you take the seven do points? Do I take the seven points? Ooh. I feel like I kind of need to catch up. That would be huge. That would put you right back in. And I do have, I have quite a few artists already on the docket. That would bring so you to 10 points. I think I'll do that. Yeah. yeah. I'll take the zip points. Uh, not bad. You also get a money card. I do. Um, I think I can take one, yeah. yeah. And actually, I get an, another money card because I have that. You get two more. Right. You get one for, yeah, one for there, one for there. Well, that's the two, Sorry, right? Yep, that's the one free so you one. Get, you get an extra one. So it's all. It's always about what's what's visible what's on the on board. What's on your board. Yep, so that was not a bad 
Not a bad movie. Um, actually, you know what? I think I'm. I think I do get this, but I think I'm wrong. I I believe I should have gotten that when I placed her. Um, not because it's not an eyeball. You know what I mean. I, you know what, I think she is when it's a revealed one. Even though she's not I an eyeball. I guess so, kind of like the just train. Just like the train is. It's like, it's part of your board. I, I, I just guess. don't think it's an eyeball because it's on I their card. Know. They don't. I don't think they show eyeballs on the player on the cards. I don't I don't love that. But no, okay. just like when you get a pedestal too. Because this get shows that. like the eyeball. You know what I mean? It, I was it just does, thinking. but it's like. See, I start to overthink this stuff once yeah, we've just don't, been don't through do it. So, okay. don't, let's let's okay. keep it simple. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead. So he moves. He's moving to Greensburg. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to go to Indy Oops. and perform here as you pre- predicted. As I predicted. Like my fortune teller. <laughs> I don't like your fortune teller. Yeah, so let's let's see. I am the oracle. Indy's looking for an elephant uh-huh. preceded by a special performer mm-hmm. and then uh, followed up by an acrobat, the purple, right? right? Yeah. Elephant. Preceded by the special performer, followed by the acrobat. Yeah, it's exactly what Indianapolis wants. It is. Wants. It's everything they've been waiting for. It's their, this is their dream circus right here. <laughs> it is. Um, so I'm going to get the full points, and the full points is ten. Fifteen. Uh, sorry, six plus four plus five. Mm-hmm. It's fifteen points. So yeah. that's like the max you can score. Plus, in that city. you're going to put your little plus thing down. Three. So you're gonna three. So that was big. Eighteen big points. That's about. That is the most you could possibly. That's like score. the best you could do. Yep. So. Can't do anything else. Plus eight, thirty-seven. No, <laughs> building absolutely zero other circuses. No, okay. I've built. I've I've made. I've tailored this to Indianapolis. I didn't yeah. get my money card because money card mm-hmm. two, three, four, five, six, seven, yes. eight, nine cards. All right, I'm still. And good. he is going to move. He's going to move, and I'm going to flip this, and because uh-huh. it it's your my turn, turn yeah. it scores score. yep. immediately. That so works. you came in second with three. Uh huh. To my first. Well, and to clarify yeah. how this works, we are tied actually for three. Correct. But the tiebreaker is first look at the major city. Who's got who's got the the best, furthest left? Furthest left, and you that's you. So, yeah. and then uh, you go to the middle middle city. Who's yep, got the highest? Who I where I would have tied, but we knew that you were doing that. Yeah, so, so I get one, ten two, to your three, six. Four, five, six. All right. Okay. So we are good to go. This comes to me, and on we go. And it is your turn. Yeah. And he's he's gonna keep cooking until he gets back. Now he's on his way back to New York. If he hits I New know. York, yeah, that's he's it. gonna get there soon. Too. So when you're thinking like, oh, you're gonna fill your board up, you're like, not. You're not. Well, you, you might, but it's if well, if you just all you did was put cards on your board, I'm sure. This is just like terrible because I don't. It's so hard because especially in a two player game, you don't always get to all these cards. Like they don't yeah. come out because like people aren't cycling these cards. So we may not be doing a lot of big city. Like that was really like special that you got that <laughs> <laughs> that was really was special. so special it was, it was special. very special performance uh i would love to do another one just like that i'm sure you in would. another city but i don't really like what they're Two, asking three, four, for five, i don't six, have seven, the cards eight, they ten. want i need to play some cards because i'm like i've got so many Cards to play. Alright, I guess I could do... Cards to play. Cards to play. Um, yeah, because I can't even like really perform in any other cities right now to get points. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or cards, because I can't hold any more cards. So let's start playing some stuff. So I will play my... Eh, I don't want to do that. I'm going to play my seal. my llama <laughs> I love the no drama llama the no drama llama is pretty cool mm-hmm. so I will do that actually because I can play this and that allows me to play one of my um, bonus cards doesn't it because I filled up my column you sure do and also you just pinned your pedestals at 10 I did Boink. Dang. so you're gonna have like the best best circus ever cities. Yeah, no. um, Inside city performances. And I can play one of my these guys, yep. and I will place it over top of my pedestal. All right, so you're so, gonna lose a pedestal. Boink, I gain a pedestal, pedestal. Lose a pe- lose a pedestal. That's okay. I'm gonna gain some Did you pay anyway. two dollars for him? I didn't, but I will. You know, it seems like meh, but it's it's kind it's of a, a big lot. Deal. Yeah, it's kind, it's kind of, of a big, big, kind of a big deal. Big deal. It's a big deal. Um. Yeah, I will 
play this guy. Okay, your turn. Are you good? Yeah. Six, seven, okay. All right. Let's uh, let's start by putting out some money cards, shall we? I'm gonna put this guy down here. Hey. He's a rootin' tootin' cowboy. He sure is. And he's gonna cost me four dollars. And I will pay with these guys five bucks. That's gonna give me one more prestige or pedestal. You go. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um. rough. Alright, I'm just going to run around here and go one, two, three. It's a Cleveland. Oh and my. going to perform in Cleveland. There you go. So, I'm pinned. I have hats and pets and all kinds of stuff, so I can take this too. Top of Cleveland? Yep. Yeah. And I will just take the seven points. 23. All right, he's going to jump up to Toledo. Holy mm -hmm. Toledo. Holy Toledo. Uh, did you oh, get and I, do money get, card? I get two, two money, money cards. cards. Yeah. One, two. Okay. Good to go? Yep. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and place her, <clears throat> her down. She's mm -hmm. going to cost me $5. I'll pay with him. Five bucks. And I'm going to gain a victory point card oh my I don't know what that even means Ugh. what I'm in a really weird place right now. Like, <laughs> with this game. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, no. Well, we'll talk about it later. Okay. With all of you. I'll talk to you about it later. I'll tell you guys um, later. We'll see. We'll see how this pans out. I'm just like, I don't really care about any of these cards. Um, all right. So, one, two... I guess I'll go to. Oh yeah, we moved him, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, he's only doing one more scoring. Yeah, that's it. One, two, three. So I'm kind of working on my player board right now. <laughs> I'm making up for lost time. Yeah, right. Because I, I kind of rushed to get Indianapolis. Yeah. I know. And gained a lot of cards, and now I'm trying to get them into my tableau to get ready for his. Him closing this out. Right. All right. I think what I'll do actually is just pay this. Uh -huh. I'm going to put a big tiger out there. Oh. And one, $1. I'll pay one clown dollar for right. that. And he covers up this thing, lets me switch Swap. stuff around. Yeah. Are you swapping? Um, no. I don't think so. Sounds good. All right. I. Ooh. Okay. Um, I can't play any cards right now. Well, I mean, I could, but I can't. Mm. Uh, I'm broke. That's so confusing. I'm okay. I'm going to have to go. Uh, maybe I'll just go to Greensburg, and I'll perform. Okay. Here. And it's going to earn me one for Greensburg and one for that. So I'm going to get two, two cards. Okay. Basically. That's it. Two money cards. Very good. One, two, and I'm hoping these will help me pay. Pay my way. I think they are. They're good. Yep. They should help me out. Okay. Um. Oh, right. Yeah. I'm going to go to Buffalo. 
and perform in Buffalo. So I do have hat guys and I've got magician guys. So, or hat guys, I guess is what matters in Buffalo, right? Yeah. So I'm up here pinned at nine and I'll take the, ooh, as much as I would love those seven points. Oh, you're performing? Yeah, I'm performing. Wow. Why? I don't know. You're just um, pushing Barnum. Well, I know you're usually the one like, um, pushing the end game. Pushing the envelope, yeah. Pushing the envelope. Uh, yeah, it's not like ideal though for me. You already performed in Buffalo. No, I didn't. I just put that on there. Oh, you did. Okay. Yeah, I'm just thinking about whether I want to take my seven points. Or I want to take three tickets. Okay. Um, because I kind of feel like, like I would like to get different cards. Yeah. You know what I mean? But also the seven points would be really helpful for me. And I just don't know. Um, I guess I'll, I guess I'll take the cards. I'll take the cards. I'll take this one. One. I'll take two. All right, that works. And I'll take three. Wow. Okay. Six. Okay. Good? Yep, I'm good. Uh, he moves because you performed, right? Yes. Cleveland. So then I'm going to go one, two, three to Buffalo. And I'm going to perform in Buffalo. Very good. So I've got the Cowboy Bob over here. Cowboy Bob. So that's going to give me a temporary boost to eight. Highest I can go is seven. So okay. I'll just take it. So I'm going to get a money card. For the performance plus three cards one two three four five six seven eight nine i'm gonna take the three cards okay one two three that goes here now i've got one Oh man, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I get rid of him and get rid of I don't really think I need this fool. Yeah, this guy's just a fool. Alright. He's going to move again. He's with us. Mm. Oh, he's back with us. He's yeah. like, now the real circus is in town. <laughs> so let me show you how this is actually done. One, two, three. Yeah, he's kind of a jerk. Um, oh, did I just perform? Uh-huh. I didn't grab my money cards. Okay. Go for Eight, it. Nine, ten. Even though I can't really take any money cards. So I'll take my two money cards that I didn't take. Yeah. And I'm going to have to probably discard down, but at least I can. Yeah, like I don't need this. I don't need either of these, I don't think. Ugh. That's rough. Yeah, tough. she was a bad choice. I took a bad card. Yeah, I, I kind of messed up, too. Yeah, like, I don't need this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Get rid of one more. I'll get rid of... I feel like some really high cards here. Get rid of that guy. Okay. <coughs> um, all right, so my turn. Yeah. Um, 
All right. Hmm. This is tough, tough, hmm. tough. Yes. Yes. Yes, it is. All right. You're not going to like this at all, I don't think. But uh, <laughs> Let me guess you're performing One, again. I know. I have to. One, two, three, four to Baltimore. Oh, man. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I think it just it stinks because it's like, all right, I have to perform because I need to get the ticket. You know what I mean? Well, the great thing is like, if you have that dude with the, the broom. Uh-huh. He he keeps Barnum from moving. I know, but I don't have that guy. <laughs> I know, like he's good for stalling. It's like if good. you don't want to push the game, he's good to play. I know. Yeah, none of my lightning bolt cards were helpful. No, they were better off as money. I know, right? Um. All right, so I am going to perform in Baltimore. Mm -hmm. I'm going to. Let's see. Two money cards to start. I'm going to get two money cards. Do I have the... Baltimore's looking for the magician. You have him. Right here. No, I think Baltimore's looking for the clown. Oh, sorry, yes. And I don't have a you clown. You don't have a clown? So no. you're not going to get that plus two. But you don't... Well, I don't need it. You're going to get nine right now. So you can get yeah. the eight. Well, actually... Unless you I have a card have a that can push bolt. you. I might have gotten rid of it. Because I was like, I don't need that crap. Um, I could play this... It's not worth it, though. No, no. I'm just going to do this. Yeah. Um, because taking I'm the taking the tickets anyway. All right. Then, yeah, you're going to get three tickets. So, I'm going to take this. And... Like... I guess I'll just draw two. You don't want Simba? I already have him. Oh. Two. Mm-hmm. Mm. What? Mm-hmm. I have no idea. <laughs> what? Three. I have too many cards, I think. Yeah. Well, you're also going to get two money cards, so might as well draw them and then discard. Oh, and the money cards, too, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Yikes. One, two. That's all the money all cards. Right, I want so to yeah, shuffle, shuffle the money those. card deck. Um... Yeah, I gotta right. keep him. I got Broom Guy. Oh, you got him. <laughs> um, you can play him because you didn't play one this performance, right? I didn't, but oh uh, yeah, because you draw it ahead of time, right? You should have, yeah. I mean, as soon as you did your performance, you drew cards. Right. So, so I could have played him. Yeah, I don't see why. Right? Yeah, why can not? we do that? Yeah, I'll, right. I'll go All for right. it. I'll let All you right. do it. We'll play him. Why the heck not? So he's a don't move the car guy. Yeah, don't move Barnum. Um. All right, I'm going to take him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So one, so you gotta get rid of one more. two, three. She's kind of lame. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Actually, I don't need like. Ugh, this is terrible. So I do need money cards though. Mm -hmm. She's like a buck. So. One, two, three, four. Probably don't need that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have eleven. I guess I'm getting rid of her too. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Those are off. Whoa, whoa, whoa! They're not all money cards. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Okay. Go ahead. Sorry, I'm thinking about like everything in this game <laughs> right now. Uh, you're done? Yeah, I'm good. You okay, can go. I can go? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I'm going to play my seal down here. He's going to bump my pedestals up. I'm going to pay $5 for him. 
Mm-hmm. And that's going to allow me to place one of my end game cards, and I will place this one here, Indianapolis. Give everybody a little mm. sneaky. Oh, peek. nice. That's, so your circus really was like built for Indy, wasn't well, it? Well, what this card means is uh, if I have that many tents in that region, mm-hmm. and I have four tents yeah. in that region. That's intense. That is intense. <laughs> this whole circus is intense. <laughs> so weird. Right. Yeah. I'm going to play this guy. Who? Who? Uh... Don't want to play that guy. Ugh. It's tough, man. Yeah, I'll do this. So, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So he's going to cost me four to play. Mm -hmm. No, five to play. I'm covering up one of my trains. So I got three trains now. Yeah. Ooh, that's going to be rough. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Good? Um, yeah, I'm good. Okay. Good as I'm gonna be. All right, playing my lion down, number 11. I'll pay $4, even though I only owe two. Uh, he's gonna let me draw one of these cards, and I will take this guy here. Your turn. Um, all right, I'm gonna play my giraffe hmm. here. 16, so that's going to be 4. Pay 4. And that gives me 3 points. Do 3. Your turn. Alright, I'm going to play this strong man here. He's going to cost me 2. I'll pay 5. And what does he give me? It covers up another train. No big deal. Your turn. <clears throat> hmm. It's hard because you're stuck to not being able to to replace cards that mm -hmm. you've played before. Yeah. You know, it's like you sign these people on and you can't get rid of them. Yeah, they're, they're, <laughs> they're, like, they're stuck. They're with you forever. Yeah, they're like these career. Ever. These are career performers. They are. I love them. Mm. All right. I shouldn't have taken this person, but that's okay. All right, I'm going to move. Because I kind of have to. Oof, yikes. I don't, I really don't love this at all. One, two, three. Because I can only move three. One, two, three. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, man. You going to perform in Trenton? I'm going to perform in Trenton. Oh, Trenton makes. <laughs> World terrifying. Takes. I'll take that tent. Um, there's my tent. Yeah. And so I get, get one, two, three. Two, three. Three monies. One. And Barnum is moving up two, to it. Rochester. Three. He's oh, like, he sees New York City in his sights. It is, yeah, it's like, I'm coming back. I'm coming home. All right, you ready? Uh, mm hmm. I'm going to go one, two to Poughkeepsie. Poughkeepsie. And I'm going to perform in Poughkeepsie. Okay. Now oh. I'm going to get one, two, three, four dollars. Nice, that's good. Four dollars, please. Oh, okay. Uh, I haven't gotten you your money this whole game. So. I know. I Here's just didn't two. feel like reaching them. <laughs> Here's three, four. There you, there go. you go. Okay. Uh, he's going to move now to Albany. Albany. He is two slots away from New York City. He's so close. Yep. So I hope you're prepared right. for this. I'm prepared. I have to go. I'm going. You're going to perform? Perform in New York. Oh, man. I have to. You Look, have I'm to. all set up. Okay. Boom. Go for it. So do you have the 12? I do. I have the acrobat. And to the left, you should have, have a turquoise performer. Yep. 
And to the right, you should have an animal. Yes. And it's a giraffe. And it you is. got it. So you're going to get 6 plus 4 plus 5 is 15. Plus 3. Plus 3 is 18. So you, you did the max. I did your, I did your indie One, thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 44 points. You caught ah, right up. There we go. That's those big performances they big. get you. Uh, he is now in Bridgeport. One stop away. Bridgeport. Oh, man. Oh, okay. So here goes nothing. I'm going to place... Uh, I'm like, I need to place like two more cards. <laughs> uh, yeah. So this is rough. do I... All right. I'm going to place... Shoot. I have to do this one first, though. Let's see. Yeah, I'll place this cat. This cat? Oh, I don't really want to. He's so expensive. You're so expensive, man. But I have to play him. Mm. That's the problem I have here. He's a 14. Mm. $14 Whoa. minus... I have to pay 9 bucks. Holy moly. Why do you have to play him? Um, because I need him. Oh. Okay. Five and four is nine. Yeah, that's that was a, oh, so expensive. Five, six, seven, eight, nine dollars. Oh, he's well. a jerk. And I get to, because I wanted to be able to play. Oh yeah, that, that guy. Nice. All right, your turn. Okay. I am going to play my lion, king of the jungle. Your lion, right there. Boink. Um. And that covers up my seven points. He actually goes I? to the left of the 15. Oh, he does go to the left of the 15, doesn't he? Yeah. Sorry, Mr. Balancing Guy. Yeah. And how many points did that get you? Seven for covering up my popcorn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Um, I'm going to play this cannoneer guy here. He's going to give me three points. Mm. He's going to cost me a buck. I'll pay two. Do I want to pay the two or the five? Hmm. I'll pay the two. And it'll give me three points. One, two, three. All right. Your turn. I'm going to play this chick with the spoons. Oh, the spoons, the plates. Yeah. You no, know? oh, she's spinning plates. Spinning plates. And uh, I will pay for her with this. Um, and that lets me put this out, which is there. really why I did that. I'm going to move to New York City and perform. Yeah, there it is. So I do have the 12, and to the left of it, I have the special performer. I do not have animal to the right, mm -hmm. so I'm only going to get 6 and 4. 10 plus 1 is 11 points. 151, 61. I do get a money card, but I'm going to play a money card, too. I'm going to get two more for this. Okay. So I'm going to go 1 and 2. All right. You done? So I'm he's done. here. He moved? He's in New York. He's in New York. That flips. This you flips. get a turn. I get one turn, and I'm going to go to Philly. Yep. And perform okay. as well. This actually worked out. Probably couldn't have worked out better. So I'm performing in Philly mm -hmm. appropriately. Yeah. I got a magician. Finish so in our, I'm gonna our get, backyard. Finish in our backyard. Um, and I will do the 10 here. And I will take the seven points. Mm. So, and you get a money card. Seven. I get one money card. Mm -hmm. And that's it. And that's it. I'm done. All right. So we're gonna do a scoring in the New York region. You have the most because you've got four tens. So you're gonna get ten. Oh yeah, I forgot all about the scoring. Yep. Fifty-eight, get, sixty-eight. And I get six because I'm in second. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oops. So okay. we are right good. there. Yes. All right. We are. So now it's the okay. end of the game, and we're going to do final scoring, oh, and we're nice. going to score the um, basically all the popcorns in the upper right of all of your uh, artist cards. Yep. And then we're going to do our our end game our cards. end game points. So all let's right. do, let's score your performers. What do you have on your player? All board? right. So and I've got some of these bottom ones yep, too. So the animals. Do all so. that. Oh, excuse me. So we'll we'll do, let's do their popcorns. Three, first, yeah. four, seven, eleven, twelve. 15, 19, 20. 20 All right, so let's give so you 20 So we'll do points. that first. So 20, 68, 88. And then there are little bonuses, mm -hmm. right? So he's going to get nothing because I've got no purples that way. Mm -hmm. He's going to get three points 
times the six, I have one six. All right, so you get three points. So I get three points for that. One, two, three. All right. Uh, he's going to be two per orange, and I have one, two, three oranges. So six that's going to be points. six points. Four, five, six. Um, it's going to be two for each teal this way. So I'm going to get two. Mm -hmm. Two. Uh, one for each pedestal, so it's going to be nine. Mm -hmm. Eight. And that's it. That's it. On here. Now your end games. End games. Um, so each different or unique purple. Mm -hmm. So I have one, two, three unique purples. So I get seven points for that. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then, so this one is interesting. I had to perform both cities in Medium a number cities. of regions yeah. yeah so i did perform in each medium city in each region so Times i got all three that's three. 10 points 10 points you did the max i did it it was a pretty good goal yeah it was a great goal right, so you finished fun. with 125 points that's not too shabby that's really good i think it's really very good i don't know if i scored that well uh, let's see what we have here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 18, 19, 23 points. Okay, 67. That takes you to what? 90? 87 if you give 20. Did you give 3 yet? No. Yeah, 90. Yeah. Right? Yep. You got... 90. Here's the thing, people watching at home. I'm not bad at math. <laughs> You can see, so we just do it like exactly yeah. backwards. We do no, mirror image at, math. You're not bad at math at all. You just do math differently. Yeah. Um, let's see. So that was the top. Uh huh. Now we're going to do the bonuses. Yeah. So let's start with the elephant. The elephant in the room. So he's going to get three points for uh, any purples to the right. So that's three points. Okay. Okay. He's going to get two points for every teal to the left. That's two more points. Okay. Good. She is going to get three points for every teal to the right. I've got two of them. That's six points. He ow, also... Ow, ow, ow. Sorry. This cat the, under the uh, table just like <laughs> clawed my ankle. You good now? Sorry. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. I'm, I'm going to get another six points because the line was the same. Because <laughs> this line. You're lying. Okay. Uh, this guy's going to give me two points for the line to the left of him. Uh -huh. So it's two more points. Okay. And he's going to give me three points for having the seven, which I do. Mm -hmm. So that's three more points. Okay. All right, we are getting close. We are getting close. Let's see what you got. All right, down here, he's going to give me three points per dollar. Now let me see what. Uh, let me get the specifics on that guy. I feel like that might be dollar on your board. So this card provides three fame points for each money icon visible on your circus board. Okay. Yeah. Which is just one of them. So I'm going to get three more points for that. Yeah. Um. Okay. Goals. Now our goal. So Indy, if however many tents I have in the Indianapolis region, uh -huh. which is this blue so you got region, ten one, for two, that. three, four, which is ten more points. Nice. Good job. We are right there. Uh -huh. And then finally, for however many different, uh -huh. just like yours, but yeah. animal cards, and I've got seven? one, two, three different animal cards. Two, so three, seven, four, points. five, six, seven. Wow. So there you twenty-five, go. 125. Two, 125, 133. Very close. Very very close. Nice. Let's talk about it. Well this. done. All right. There you have it. It's a circus of three rings. Three ring circus. Yeah. I feel like we um, we put on some good shows. I think we did well this game. We did. We did really well this game, yeah. I think. I feel like we um, we both... I feel good about it. Like, I feel like when I was done, I was like, okay. Like, this was a really good epic ending for me. Mm -hmm. Being able to complete my goal and still do a big city. Mm -hmm. I think, like, really, as long as you get one of the big cities, yeah. you stay in the game. Um, like if you, if you can max them out, that's good. But yeah, I feel like we both played well and, and it worked out. It worked out. It worked well. out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's give our thoughts about this one. Yes. This is a, this is a production game. This isn't a, yeah, yeah. so you know, oh, yeah. we're so used to not being able to talk about games because we do Kickstarters, but this is a fully published produced game. Yeah. Um, that will be available for you in retail. Will be available for you in retail very soon. Yeah. Yep. Um, and we, we definitely... At least I'll put it. I'll yes. start with my thoughts. Please start with your own thoughts. Yes. So there, this is a game that I that I would say is very light on rules. Like uh -huh. it's easy to learn. There's only two things you can do on your turn, so you really don't have to think that hard about what what that turn has right. to be. It either has to be put a card in your tableau, 
or perform. Mm-hmm. That's it. It's really simple. Yeah. But deciding what to do on your turn right. is like, because you're looking at the board, you've got a mind where Barnum's going, uh-huh. so you may got to make sure you've, you've got your presence in the region he's heading to. Right. But you may not be ready to perform in the big city in that region. Yeah. Or even the, the middle, the medium cities. So you're going to, you have to try to set your board up in such a way that you're going to get the bonuses you need to do the best in right. the cities that he's going to. And try to stay a step ahead of him the whole time. So it is a race. Mm-hmm. It is a puzzly game yeah. in managing how to do your board. I haven't figured out the right order of things yet yeah. to, to really optimize uh-huh. the bonuses on this board. I always start at the top row. I think that's wrong, I'll be honest with you. I think yeah. I should probably start in the middle of the bottom row. Because I think there's better like bonuses. rewards yeah. down below versus up top that we didn't really get, take advantage of. And we don't do that enough. Mm-hmm. Um like there's a there's a symbol on the bottom bo- row that lets you place an additional card. I know, but what sucks is that you have to start covering up these trains. You and do early game. That's it. It kind of it can hurt you, you. Yeah. because the board is so open. Yep. But, um, yeah. But so I, you know, I'll even give my opinion. Then you yeah. can give your opinion, yeah, right? So um, thematically, I love the theme. I think uh-huh. I like circus games. Yeah. Uh, for whatever theme and park not games, that many circus of games. Them. There's not yeah. a lot of really good circus games. I mean, they're actually. They're good theme park games, but not circus games. Yeah. Like this is straight up circus. Right. Um, I like the idea of having to having simplicity in options mm-hmm. of moves. Right. Boom. I like the fact that you've got to manage uh, dual use cards of money versus do you put them on mm-hmm. your board or do you one time use them? Right. Like it's right. There's, there's value in that. Um, and then having to solve the puzzle of how you want to set up your board. Right. So thematically, I, I love the game. Yeah. Mechanically, I also really do enjoy this game. Um, I mean, do I love it? Close to love. Right. I like it a lot. So I do really like the um, the mechanics of building my tableau and seeing it uh, and getting those quick shot bonuses. For me, it's mm-hmm. it's a game where it's just make it make up your mind and just boom, go get your points. Yeah. Make up your mind, go get your points, and that's how my gaming style works. It does. Yeah, I don't have to that's... plan. 75 turns ahead and then think about this long-term strategy i'm not a long-term strategy person Mm -hmm. i'm more of a i'm a i'm director right i'm an executor i get things done in smaller bites and for me this this fits my my flow yeah (laughs) so it feels good when i play a game like this um it's organized it's neat the iconography is very clear Mm -hmm. there's not a ton of it it fits on the back of this page I like, know, this is it which we appreciate which always. i'm not used to because yeah. normally you've got six or seven reference sheets and i'm just like wow i can't yeah. remember all this but this was really simple so boom 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 uh art theme mechanics play time i think with two of us it moves pretty quick yeah um even for you know, so we're still kind of getting the hang of things um i like how it tightens the board up i like how barnum puts the pressure on you so you can't just sit there and Take your time building your tableau, yeah. and then then I'll go do a performance because right. the other players are pushing the clock. Yeah. Um, so all of that really do like this game. For me, this is one I would keep in my collection. It hits. It's somewhere um, a little upper mid for weight, uh-huh. I think. Yeah. Um, even though it's deceivingly deceivingly, so. deceivingly yeah. easy, I think the strategy is complex enough that it it, it warrants a little bit higher uh, complexity rating. Okay. But that's my that's my spiel. Okay. Cool. Very good spiel. Um, I what what um, I'm kind of. It's funny. I'm kind of with you. Well, mm-hmm. obviously, like of course, the theme, the art, the graphic design, all that stuff. Like totally in love with it. Yeah. Looks great. Plays well. But um, I'm kind of with you where I'm like, I'm I appreciate this game a lot. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I love it, mm-hmm. but I. I'm loving it more the more we play it, if that makes sense. So I am attracted to balance Mm. in all things, kind of minimalism, balance. One of my biggest pet peeves is, you know, when we have games that just kind of have a lot of fiddly stuff thrown in for no reason. Mm. So when I come across a game that is intentional in every piece and is so well balanced, I'm... I'm just like intrigued. Mm-hmm. Like I'm like, and I have extreme respect for the design of the game. So what I really like about this one where the balance for me really shines is number one, it is, um, it is like you were saying, like 
Barna moving around the map mm -hmm. pushes it. So it is kind of a race. Mm -hmm. And typically, especially when you and I play those kinds of games, I'm thinking like Maracaibo, for example, mm -hmm. I don't like the experience because yeah. you push the end game and you push the scorings. Mm -hmm. And I'm like sitting back here like, but I'm trying to do every little thing. Like I'm a completionist. Yeah. I want to get every circus in every city and do it all. And you can't do that. And I think that's where with this game, like my intrinsic, like, Something about this is making me unhappy as I'm playing, and that's what it is. Yeah. But it has nothing to do with the game. It's just that's me and my play style. So usually when we play games like that, I'm I'm kind of turned off about the experience because I feel rushed. Mm. And in this game, it's it's interesting because it's like you, f I do feel that, but I'm required to contribute to pushing the game forward. You are. So when we play games where we're pushing the game. Mm -hmm. I'm usually not the one pushing the game. Like Correct. I'll be there for three hours yep. playing Isle Bound or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I just don't like I'm doing everything so slowly to completion. And uh, with this, um, in order to get your resources, it's not just like I'm placing a worker out and I'm going to get what I need or I'm going to do this action and get cards or something like that. Or I'm going to trigger a production and, and get a bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. Anything you need. You need the special people to put in your in your circus. You have to perform for that certain kind of performance. You need money. You got to perform for that. You yep. got to go. You got to go do that. Um, when you place the you know the folks in your circus, like that's kind of what I want to spend my time doing because I'm that's like tableau building for me is like my thing. Mm -hmm. But you're sitting here going, ah, I need that card and I'm going to have to perform in order to do it right. and that's the struggle and the beauty in this game and that's what I'm loving more and more the more we play it is mm -hmm. actually having to do that um, aside from that other kind of balance things that are just kind of like I don't know the opposite of nitpicky because they're things I really appreciate but maybe nobody else thinks about them um, I love the fact that there are um, three basically different types of resources mm -hmm. right or three different types of cards yeah. you have three different types of performances and you've got three rings in your circus and we're playing a two-player game we've got three regions yeah. so it's all very like these are like nuanced details that people probably don't recognize but mm -hmm. i recognize these things and for me that also makes it easier to teach so when i'm thinking about this as a game that is this going to be a game we get out and play mm -hmm. i think absolutely yeah so regardless of like the, like, is it my number one game that I want to play with you every Friday night? It doesn't really matter because I can see this getting more playtime when people come over because it's very easy to explain. Yeah. Um, and it's it's just very simple to understand what's going on, harder to grasp how to go about actually getting points and yeah. winning the game or getting close to winning or participating in general. Yeah. Um, but I, I think, um, like I said, the, most, the more time that we've played it, you know, I think we've uh, sort of understood like where we need to spend our time, but there's still a lot more room to explore mm. strategy, I believe. Sure. So absolutely, this is one I want to keep in the collection. Um, I'm kind of with you where like, I'm not sure if it's like top of my like top tier Mm. Just because it's not the kind of style game I like to play usually. Right. But, like, I'm so intrigued by it that I kind of just want to keep playing it. Yep. So we'll see. I'm going to put this one on kind of, like, pending. We'll see at the end of the year. I'm curious, like, how this compares after playing it, you know, a few more times, too. Um, a couple things I will mention that I don't know if we mentioned during the game. On these cities, these are actually cards. So, like, if you want to put down. So these change. Yep. Like, they're not part of the board. Um, so I think that there is a lot of variability right. These in the game. change as well. Yep. And they're double-sided. Right. Exactly. So you will have... You yeah. Set, that's all part of the, the variable yep. setup. Um, and you don't have to start with New York. No. You could start yeah. with the Boston area and cover up Indy if you're playing a three-player game uh, or two-player game. We did it this way because it was easier kind of to film. It fit better. Yeah. And you got um, Chicago as well. Yeah, exactly. So this is kind of how you it can, looks with you everything. You can try to be the sausage king and of again, Chicago. <laughs> If you want. <laughs> um, and I don't know. Like, I'm also curious about playing this with more than just the two of us. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering, like, is it going to be too long of an experience? Like, too long of a game? Maybe, maybe not. There's more people putting more, um, you know, tents out. So that's going to move Barnum around. Again, just brilliant in the mechanic of yeah. moving Barnum around the map. Because he's skipping 
things. Um, and as you're covering things up on your board, you need to move less spaces. So um, all of that, I really appreciate it too. So yep. I feel like I'm kind of going on and on about the same thing, but that pretty much covers it. Uh, also on the back of your player board is the Spectacular Aut Automaton Show, mm -hmm. which is the solo mode. And there's yeah. a whole solo mode with its own two decks of cards yeah. and, and components as well that um you know seems a little bit chunky mm -hmm. so i like when they uh when they give good attention to uh solo you know it's not just kind of thrown in there it seems yeah. it's intentional so it's right, a one right. to four player game uh so you get a lot of different uh you know a variety of uses out of this uh, right. for a variety of audiences yeah but uh, yeah, I agree. Absolutely. I think so. This is definitely a keeper for us. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, definitely, uh, I think like I think thematically, it's it's it appeals to 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 not so heavy gamers mm -hmm. because it's oh we're gonna play a circus game, really cool. Okay. Yeah, love it. Right, but it also is not gonna be. It's not a light game. It's by not. Means. No, no, no. But it's easy to teach because it's like it hey, is. on yeah. your turn, do one of these you three do one things. Of these two things. Two and things. Then, yeah. And then we can watch them just freeze because you're yeah, like, because they're like I don't, I don't know, know what to do. do. But yeah. it's like okay. You have a goal card, uh -huh. work towards that. Exactly. Right. And if you work towards yep. that, you're going to score points. Right? Yeah. And as long as you keep that in mind, yeah, uh, it should be fine. Yep. Yeah, I'm really struggling to find something that, like, I don't know. Because we are keeping, like, a very minimalist, like, collection. Games. Right? So I'm thinking about, like, what would this replace mm -hmm. in the collection? Um, and I'm not really sure yet. Well, so, we, um, we'll see. we've already so. been... I mean, I know... A big chunk of probably games that it would replace because yeah. even in our hundred, I think we're we've already, already pulled like three or four, a couple more to sell, or so. more, probably ten that yeah. we're, we're already looking to get rid of. So yeah, um, so just because we've we've had them in our hundred, <laughs> and you look at them every day, and you're like, okay, yeah, we're probably not gonna play this anymore. Yeah. So when you've got that finite collection, yeah. and you look at it every day, you start to pick out the ones that you're like, you know what, this is not gonna make it to the table. Let's yeah. let's get rid of it. It's right. probably it's better off. Let's let's make room for something new. Yeah. Um or something that we value more. Right? right. So but there you have it. That is Three Ring Circus by DeVere. Uh another hit. These guys are on fire. Yeah, they they never cease to impress yeah, us. So. <laughs> their games are just just good. Yeah. Good quality. They're enjoyable. Mm -hmm. They're the production is there. Yeah. Um it's just they're solid all around. Right. Uh, usually get like nine thousand rule books because there's every you every do. language, every language is, yeah. is available. Right. But uh, you know that's just the attention to detail they give with their yeah, games, and for uh, sure. you know we appreciate that. So mm -hmm. there you have it. Uh, leave your comments down below what you think of yes. Three Ring Circus, and if this is something that you're going to go after to add to your hundred game collection <laughs> or your thousand game collection, who knows? Right. So all right, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. All right, we'll see you.